Hi guys, today I'm going to take it back to the streets again. Let's do some more street skating and have another good fun adventure. But this time I'm going to try and mix it up a bit. Normally I do things, whatever it is, skateboarding, shopping, just general stuff. I always go to Oldham. But where I live, I sort of live halfway between Oldham and one of the neighbouring towns called Ashton. So today I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to try and skate some street spots in Ashton. Never skated Ashton before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But we're going to go and find out together and hopefully there'll be some great spots where we can skate and have a good time. Let's find out. cool of a spot would this be if it wasn't for the skate stoppers there and the anti-skate on the floor in as well. What a shame. That's why we have to move on and try and find somewhere else. Yet another potential good spot. A bit out of my ability range, I'll give you that. But even if it wasn't out of my ability range, just before the stir set, some more nobbles to stop you. So it's another no go. like we may have found our first spot that long last didn't think it was going to come but it's here we found it these ledges behind me look like they've already been whacked as you can see and I must say they do look a little high for my ability I don't think I'll be grinding these but this is a cool spot and there is a ledge down here which comes to the end where them ones like obviously they're in the middle so you can't really even trick off them <coughs> there's one here it leads up to the end. I could potentially try and ollie off that. It's been a while since I've ollied off anything. So um could be a challenge. And I've not warmed up or skated yet. So that could make it an even bigger challenge. But I should be able to ollie off this. I hope. Well, what a great start to the session that was. Bailing on an ollie. Wow, it's been a while since I've bailed on a flat ground ollie. Looks like it's going to be a good session. Given 
the way I'm performing with these ollies and the nature of this path which is making me struggle immensely I think I'm gonna pass on ollieing off this ledge for today because my hip is already hurting just after that little fall on the ollie and that wasn't the only time I struggled to actually ollie on this path it's not the smoothest let's say and the cracks are quite pronounced and that is what got me when I fell so I don't fancy my chances ollieing off a wall if I'm struggling to ollie on flat ground around this area if I find another ledge I may ollie off that one instead but I think this one I'm going to pass I'm going to try and find another spot hopefully because I've not had much luck so far I thought this spot was the one but it turns out it's not so let's keep on looking so it's not much. I found this little haggard bank. It's something to get a few tricks down at least for the video. Hopefully there's no little cracks on the haggard pavement. They're gonna send me flying again. Because my hip is rather sore. bank over there is very very narrow and I was a bit dubious if I could do a 180 on it with how narrow it was I tried the half cab and I got that fairly easy so I just had to do a 180 on it bit of a struggle I struggled to get it round perfect most of the times but I got a semi decent one in the end and that'll do that'll do time to move on to a new spot if if I can find one but I do think I have one in mind. There's one I've seen when I've been in Ashton, the rare occasion. There's a couple of small ledges, I think, just further down there. So I'm going to try that one. So 
this is a sporting question, and yes, I'll admit, calling them a ledge is probably a bit extreme. They're only like skateboard height, so it's more of a curb. But it's something to try and grind. I don't know if they are grindable. I'll have to wax the hell out of them first. But uh, I'll see. We'll have a quick go and see if they slide. While skating this little curb, I noticed from afar another good looking spot just down the pathway there. It looks like to be a proper ledge, a nice ledge. Well, I'm presuming it's a nice ledge, it looks a nice ledge from afar. Let's get a bit closer and let's see what it actually looks like. Yes, it is a nice ledge indeed. 
and it looks like it's already been hit up at some point because it is waxed to death I'd probably say it was BMX's as it does look a bit chunky and I imagine stunt pegs of the BMX have done that but I think it'd still be skatable and the beauty of this ledge, the beauty of it look down there, starts off low and it gradually gets higher great training ledge what a ledge this is for training on you can learn your, your tricks low slowly bring them higher, 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 higher until you get to be able to do them at the full height great ledge the only downside I would say is it does have this little thin grate just before it I'm not sure how much that would impede you from trying any tricks if it had uh, jolt you off your board or not or if you'd just be clean to go and you'd be okay and it wouldn't affect you at all sadly we're not going to find out if it's going to impede you or not because I ain't going to skate it as much as I want to and I have warmed up over there so it would be like the next progressive step to come onto this one but that fall at the beginning of the video has really got my hip and it's starting to seize up a little bit I feel a little bit of pain in it so I don't want to risk further injury I'm going to call it a day I've found some decent spots semi-decent spots anyway and I've got enough for the video and also I've all got a reason to come back this wonderful ledge so watch out for street skating in Ashton part 2 coming to your faces soon